Hey guys, welcome to, the, welcome to another video tutorial, which is also a Megabyte TV by the way. Um, so if you're watching on Megabyte TV uh, and you've never seen me before, hello, and uh, yeah, sub yeah, subscribe. Anyway, and, uh, anyway uh, today I'll be talking to you about virtual desktops. So what is a virtual desktop? Well, if you're familiar with the Mac OS X and Ubuntu Linux operating systems, you will know what a virtual desktop is. A virtual desktop is a, another monitor, per se, that is virtually created using a piece of software. So it's nothing to do with hardware, software all the way. Because software, like, below it. Also hardware, but whatever. Okay, so, um, there is, um, the virtual desktops do not come built in with the Windows operating system, as of yet, but there is a piece of software, third-party software, which you can get, which allows you to do this. It's called Desk Space. So to get Desk Space, just go ahead and head over to your internet browser. Well, it went. Firefox all the way, and just type in Desk Space. Okay. And there you go. Link. First link. Now you can see there is a buy now option. I believe that's a premium package which you can get, which has a few more features, but it's $25, which is, I am not going to do the conversion in pounds, but it's, it's not really that much, but if you want that other uh, upgrade, then you can go ahead and get that, but I'm not going to show you that today. Okay, so go ahead and download uh, Desk Space, if you have fast internet, that will not take as long as this, but I have extremely slow internet, which hopefully will be upgraded to a 24 megabit a second internet, so yeah. Anyway, go open up the file, and go to the installation, which is next, I agree, next. Basic installation. Simple. Click finish. Taking a long time. There you go. And this box shall pop up. And we want to configure some things in here. First off, you want to make sure that it is in your language. And, oh, it's only in English then. Oh, that's a pity. You want to uh, configure the activation hotkeys. Um, so I like to have mine at Control and Shift. Um, so actually, sorry, Alt Shift. That's where I like to have mine up. Used to access keys on my keyboard, and then um, I just show the cube and activation keys. Hot keys pressed, yes. What's my uh, uh, Yeah, okay, that's fine. Like mouse, you can actually activate desk desk space when, it, when the mouse is rolled over to a corner, which is quite nice. But I don't like that. Uh, activate. Uh, desktop desk space on middle mouse click if you have a middle mouse click. Um, only when mouse clicks is over taskbar. Uh, mess around with this stuff. Uh, don't really want to do that. That's fine. Okay, so click OK and we're going to hit Alt Shift. And there you go. Pretty cool. And it's got this kind of barrel type look, but what it's doing is it's switching between virtual desktops. I can, I believe there is six desktops in this. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And all it's going to do is load up a brand new desktop, and you can do many things with this. So this with six desktops, just imagine what you can do. It's quite insane. Uh, you can have like Photoshop open here. I don't know, like After Effects, Streamweave, whatever you want to have open. You know, six desktops. The possibilities are endless. So yeah, one thing you will need when doing this is a fairly okay graphics card. I have only got integrated graphics, but they do me fine. So that is a desk space and virtual desktops for Windows. And yeah, please comment. Got any uh, problems? Comment uh, on the video. Rate it. 
five stars, get the video out there, rate five stars, and last but not least, subscribe. Subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Ideal. Uh,